Saturday, September 24th, Pitt State football hosting non-conference William Jewell, the only non-MIAA opponent Tim Beck's squad will see in the regular season. Gorillas win the toss but defer so the Cardinals will get the ball to start the game. But the Gorillas wasted no time after getting the ball back from Jewell as Zach Dickey finds a hole in the defense and scrambles 29 yards for the touchdown. 7-0 Gorillas on top early. Later in the first quarter, a long rush by Eric Love sets up the one-yard touchdown run by Bryston Wilson. He hammers it across the goal line and the Gorillas are up 14-0. Second quarter action and the Gorillas are still leading at 14-0. The team calls on Wilson again, who takes the handoff from Dickey and finds a seam. That's Wilson's second score of the night and the Gorillas grab the 21-point edge. Later in the game, Gorillas leading at 28-0. Dickey from the 14-yard line and he knows exactly where he's going. Red zone touchdown to John Brown, and the Gorillas are now up 35-0. With the big lead, Anthony Abanoha was in at quarterback for the Gorillas. He dumps it off short to Bryson Wilson. 6'1", 225 pounds, but boy can he still move. 53 yards for the score, and that gives Wilson his third touchdown of the night. Later in the fourth quarter, Gorillas leading at 42-7, and let's see the junior transfer Justin Woods. That's his first career carry for the Crimson and Gold. 23 yards for the score, and the Gorillas cruising to the 49-7 victory. Post-game reaction from players and coaches after the win. Good win as a team. You know, came out, fired up, went and scored the first drive. Defense came out and played well, and just a good team win. Coach Beck does a real good job of bringing us back to reality and humbling us you know, down, like taking one game at a time, and that's what it's about. And we're all buying into that, so it's one game at a time, four down and one to go. That's how we look at it. You know, we didn't want to overlook, overlook these guys, and you know, we practiced for them all week, and uh, we came out and did what we needed to do. And, and uh, you know, there's still some things that we can clean up, as there are in, all, in, all, in every game. There's still corrections that need to be made, and, uh, but it was good. And, um, overall, I'm satisfied, but now it's on to work for the next one. You know, if you're going to sell that to your kids about doing one thing at a time and one game at a time, then you got to do the same thing as coaches. You can't look ahead. So it's important for us to concentrate on what we're doing this week and take, take care of it, and then tomorrow we'll move on. The Gorillas' next stop will be in downtown Kansas City for the Fall Classic at Arrowhead against the number one team in the country, Northwest Missouri State, with kickoff being set for 2.07 p.m.